Hey guys, Marmalade here. What is up everybody? I am very, very excited to bring this uh, video and event to you. Uh, kind of planned at the last minute and heard about it. And uh, where am I? I am at the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous. Yeah, interesting story and, uh, and name. And But I am in Quartzsite, Arizona. Quartzsite, Arizona. And interesting story really quick. Uh, I'll explain what this event's about. But um, I was uh, told by this event by... I want to give you a shout out, PP and Jay. Somebody who follows my channel and came into my store where I work. And brought it up. And I had no... I'd never heard of it. And doing SUV living... Uh, I just, uh, it really intrigued me. I have no idea if it's going to be fun. Uh, it's a, it's going to be a big turnout from what I hear. And it has in the past. This is about the 13th one. But let me, let me backtrack a little bit. So what happened, what interesting how I got here. Uh, today is Friday, January 13th, Friday the 13th, ooh, uh, 2023. And I'll be here through Sunday the 15th. And, um, so last night I was at a friend's uh, birthday dinner in uh, San Marcos, California, near San Diego. And uh, I packed up and made a big list of all the um, stuff I needed and gear for this event to get here. And uh, I'm even going to cook some food out uh, where I'm going to be camping. So I'll bring that to you. But um, I drove a little over four hours last night. I was super, super exhausted. But uh, I wanted to get here and then and then sleep. So that's what I did. Uh, I'm showing you a few pictures right here, but I drove last night for, like I said, four hours, started about 9.30, and got here about, uh, what is that, uh, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, like 1.30, and it was actually an hour time difference too, so I lost an hour, but um, yeah, and I found uh, the uh, Quartzsite, if you guys know anything about it, I knew nothing about it, I've heard of the name, but I didn't know, but it's a big, huge uh, area of BLM land, so free uh, camping and RVing, living, and uh, it's the desert out here. And if you know anything about the desert, that's why Palm Springs is popular, is in the winter, uh, the weather's beautiful in the desert. So it's free, nomadic kind of life. So that's what people do out here. It's huge. And this is what I'm learning and found out about it. So when I got here last night, I looked on my phone and I just went and parked my car and finally fell asleep about 2, 2 a.m. And uh, it was really 1 a.m. my time, but I uh, slept till about 8 this morning. And I drove over here to this park. It's just the town park in Quartzsite, and that's where the event is. And um, it's about, I would say, three miles. So I'm going to be camping every night about three miles from this event. As of right now, I plan on making uh, one video for this whole weekend. I'll probably just have breakfast Sunday morning. I don't know if there's much going on. I may come here. I may just head home. I do have, a, like I said, a four or five hour drive home, depending on traffic. So I may just head out after breakfast Sunday. So today, Friday is a full day. Uh, there's van tours. So I'm going to try to bring that to you. Um, people with larger vans are the first couple hours this morning. Then there's uh, smaller vans, which I'm more interested in cars, things like mine that are in their setup so I can learn some stuff. Um, I would love to get some videos. So, so there may be other videos spawned from this video, but in this, this weekend, I'll be videoing the event. There should be live music and some food and uh, booths and things like that. And looking at the cars and the vans and things like that, I want to get ideas for what I have now and maybe for future vans if, if I get a van, which is what I'm trying to do. And when I'm camping, I've got two recipes I'm going to make. And so in this full video, I'll just kind of show myself eating and show what I made. But I'm going to make videos of the recipe in case you want some really good uh, camping meals. Uh, like, you know, not backpacking, but camping at car camping or at a campground kind of meals. And uh, so I'm going to make mo possibly multiple videos besides just this event. So check it out if you're interested in that too. And um, that's about it. I'm eating some breakfast. It's about, what time is it? It's uh, 7, or it's actually an hour ahead. So 8.45 right now. The event's going to get going around 9-ish. I don't know. But um, they also have classes here that I'm intrigued by. So there's a few things I might go sit in. So um they also have tomorrow night, Saturday night, they're uh, Nomad Land. They're playing that video, uh, that movie in the park here. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, to be honest with you, because it's kind of latest, like 6 or 7 p.m., and it's going to last a couple hours. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. I may just want to go and enjoy my uh, campsite out on BLM Land. But that's it. Uh, bring to you what I can. And uh, let me know if you've ever been to this event. Uh, I guess this guy, Bob Wells, started about 13 years ago. He's YouTube famous, and he... Um, as an older gentleman, I watched his video about the event and uh, he said it was his 13th year, he thinks. But uh, yeah, he's got a very uh, popular um, YouTube channel called Cheap RV Living. And uh, so yeah, and I guess as of a couple years ago, there was close to 
six, 8,000 people came to this and I guess COVID slowed it down. This will be the first year that it's full on again. So it'll be interesting. I, there's already a lot of people here and it's early, so we'll see what happens, but that's enough talking. Let's get on to the event. All right, guys, it's about uh, 12 o'clock right now, high noon, and the bigger rigs and big uh, RVs and stuff that were there this morning are now pulling out and they're staging for round two is what I'm more interested in, which is 
um, regular vans, cars, and SUVs, kind of like what I have. Of course, I want to do vans, so I think I saw some vans pulling in, but it seems to kind of not be super organized here, so I think there's going to still be some RVs and stuff, but hope you enjoyed seeing some of those. It's really interesting to talk to some of these people. Um, that one that's got the uh, bed liner um, for its paint on the side of the van is brilliant. The guy watching uh, Canada that does SUV life, or excuse me, van life, uh, has that sprayed on there because when you go down a lot of backcountry roads and you're going through lots of brush and stuff it'll scratch the hell out of your car and um, so you can put that bed liner tough material on the outside of your truck van or camper or whatever and uh, he said he's never washed it in three years and it looked like it was brand new so uh, the guy I watch in Canada will go to like a car wash where you get you could have the hose that comes down and he just high pressure washes his car and it's clean you don't have to scrub or anything so it doesn't like to stick on there it doesn't scratch super durable so that may be something I do if I get an older van and want to redo my redo it all. So it's time for lunch. I have a little salami, cheese, and crackers here, and and got some water. And uh, yeah, just gonna veg here and then go for round two.
Hey guys, so uh, I'm making a recipe. If you want to see this recipe, I'm going to make a separate video on my channel for this called Dirty Rice. But it's smelling and looking great. I'm doing like a 20, it has rice in it, so it's taking about 20 25 minutes to, on a low simmer to hydrate the rice. But I'll try to show it to you at the end. But it's really good. Uh, it's a great camping recipe. So if you want to make this, uh, not backpacking, but car camping or out at a campground, this is really good. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of extra, so I'll have some food at work, so some leftovers. But um, yeah, I'll show it to you when I'm all done. All right, guys, the first time having this, this is the truth, it's in the test here. Uh, let's mix up the cheese a little bit. Gonna watch a nice sunset here, maybe some Netflix. Let's see here. Dirty rice, baby. Wow, that's really good. Really good. Hey guys, good morning, good morning. Day two, January 14th is a Saturday, 2023. And I thought I'd uh, do my little intro right here and uh, made some nice hot coffee. It's a chilly morning, but not crazy chilly. I packed a bag of uh, some warm clothes. Uh, I always carry warm clothes because they live in the car, but I have an extra puffy jacket, things like that. And I left it behind at home, so. But it's not too bad. You know, I always, I always wear shorts, so I'm kind of used to it, but uh, it's a little chilly. But how about that uh, sunrise today, huh? So I'm out here in BLM land, about three miles from the event. And um, so some things have changed. Um, I was studying just now the, on my iPad the, uh, the kind of agenda for today at the show. And is there honestly some more things tomorrow I wanna see, and there's nothing really I wanna see today at all. I'm gonna go over there and just kind of hang out a little bit. Uh, but I think I'm gonna head home today instead of tomorrow. Uh, I'm really bummed because um, the problem is the things that I'm interested in, there's some classes. Uh, there's one specifically on how to um, search and find a BLM, like a BLM land like this. I know some apps I use, so I kind of know a little bit, but I thought that'd be interesting. There's some music tomorrow. There's a movie tonight, uh, Nomad Land at 6 p.m. I told you I may or may not go to. This is what I said yesterday. But I decided, you know, uh, I'm probably gonna head out uh, midday today, get home. Um, I keep my extra, gear in the storage so that'll uh, put my storage stuff in storage uh, that I brought on this trip that's filling my car up uh, so I can sleep in my car tonight uh, but uh, put that away and then I'll have tomorrow off and so I'll probably uh, I have some videos that I want to make so I'll probably do them tomorrow give me a day before I have to go back to work so uh, I have really had a great time so far um, we'll show you a little bit more when we get back but uh, I met a lot of wonderful people. Uh, a few people knew me from my channel, which is surprising because uh, this this event has nothing to do with backpacking. Uh, I got to meet the, meet the gentleman. I'll put his name here. Uh, that's uh, that I watch a lot and, and really want to fashion my channel and my future uh, adventures by, which is uh, SUV RVing. So check him out if you uh, want. It's up to him. But uh, I really got to meet him. Like him, really nice, down to earth guy. But makes great videos and. Um, some other things that he does that I'll, I'll talk about later, not to this trip, but uh, that he does that I want to fashion my channel after. So really respect the guy and what he's doing. So that was neat. Uh, besides that, this met a lot of interesting, sometimes weird, quirky, but all very kind 
reminds me of the backpacking community, just very easygoing. People are out here living their lives, doing what they want to do. Some are uh, wealthy, uh, retired people that have giant uh, motorhomes, down to people that are living in a Prius and everything they own in the car and struggling, but everybody's happy and kind. And that's the kind of people I like to be around. That's part of what attracted me to backpacking once I got into it. So. Uh, we'll go, uh, believe it or not, the other thing I wanted to say is, it's weird here, uh, it's an hour time difference, so sunrise wasn't until 7.41, so almost 8 o'clock, it's 8 o'clock right now, uh, but uh, they're going to have rain in a couple more days, so it's just kind of overcast today, uh, so I'm, the sun's being blocked right now, but uh, yeah, it's weird, uh, you get an hour light at night, but then it takes an hour longer for the sun to come up, so almost 8 o'clock, so um, I fell asleep early last night, so it was, as always, like when I backpacked, it was hard to... Uh, get up this morning or hard to not get up because I was awake by like five so I ended up watching a movie on my Netflix but uh that's about it had a nice night in the car I was kind of windy and breezy last night so I'm glad I wasn't in a tent but uh that's about it uh I'm gonna make my famous uh breakfast scramble and uh then clean up pack up and then go to the event and see what's over there so uh I'm gonna sit here just for a little bit longer drink some coffee and then we'll make breakfast Okay, for my uh, scramble, I call it the obliterated scramble. All right, just to kind of jump start it, I didn't film everything, but I added three eggs to it. All right, guys. This smells and looks amazing. How about that color presentation? That's really important, right? When you're out in the desert. <laughs> But now the sun's finally come out a little bit. There's a lot of clouds as I showed earlier, but let's stir this up. I think the cheese is melted now. Spread out the avocado a little bit so it's not all in one spot. All right, let's see how this is. I've had it a million times, but it never gets old. Let's get a little bit of everything. Oh. You guys, uh, this is amazing. If you're interested, I'm making a separate video just for the recipe for this. So check that out. That'll be uh, on my channel. It's not rocket science. Obviously, you can add and subtract things whether you like or dislike things. Um, I threw in the green bell peppers this time just because I had them. But normally, I don't put those in a scramble. But it tastes really amazing, really good. Put a little light salt and pepper on there. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a scramble. But I'd like to show you what I do. And... Um, let me know what you think. Uh, what else would you add or subtract if you were to make this? Anyway, I'm gonna finish this up and then pack up so we can get going. Thanks for watching.
right, so I've left Quartzsite, Arizona, passed across the California, Arizona borders. I'm in California now, back to my regular time zone. It's an hour different there. And it's looking pretty ominous and gray. I think I'll be right, driving through some rain. I want to show you a few sites if I can, and if the weather's not too bad on the way back. Maybe we can see San Gregorio and San Jacinto, but we will see. But this is nearing the end of the video, but I wanted to bring you along. And to me, this is gorgeous out here, the brown and tan mountains of the desert. Of course, that's what I'm used to.